Peace, everybody. This is Sasha reminding you not to settle. As a child, we were told by our parents, or as a matter of fact, as a parent ourselves, we tell our children, don't settle for less. If you're dating a man or woman and they don't meet up to your standards, you're better off alone than settling for a mate that's not equally yoked. And in our businesses, in our careers, we are told, if the job that you're applying for doesn't hire you, you're better off staying at the job that you currently have than settling for a position that you know isn't worth your value. So if we're told to not settle in business and we are told not to settle in relationships, why were we never told to not settle when it comes to our wellness and the food that we eat? Just as if it's better being alone than to be with the wrong companion or it's better to stay in your current job if the one that you are seeking doesn't see your value, you are better off not eating anything at all until you can get to a proper meal than eating junk. Well, why? It is much easier for our body to fast, meaning not to have to process junk, than it is to have to process junk. It's much better for us to take a pause from eating if we are not prepared or in an environment to eat the best foods that are gonna fuel our body as opposed to eating junk. Because all junk food does is satisfy a temporary craving inside of us when ultimately our body does not want to feel full, it wants to feel nourished. It needs nourishment. So we can no longer be mad at our outcome meaning we can no longer be mad at what manifests on the outside if our income, meaning what we're taking in on the inside, cannot bring, up, bring forth goodness and wellness and health. So I encourage you not to settle in relationships, not to settle in business, and not to settle with junk food or wellness. You are worth so much more than you've been settling for. Please drop a line. I'd love to hear your comment. Until next time, peace.